Hello all of you tap dancers. My name is Terry Brock and I'm thrilled to share with you a lovely dance originated by the Queen of Tap herself, the legendary Eleanor Powell. I am so proud to carry on the work of this classically trained artist who according to the Nicholas Brothers was their very favorite tap dancer of all time. You will see a personal triumph in my life when I became the proud recipient of Eleanor Powell's tap shoes. I'm honored, Terry, that you have chosen to carry on the legacy of my mother, who I am so, so proud of. And I can't think of another person in the world that I would rather entrust these tap shoes to than to you. And uh, I hope and know you will honor them and through your talent. And, uh, and here you go. Her only child, Peter Ford, graciously gave them to me and are my very dearest treasure. I hope you too will strive to maintain the beautiful, elegant style of this truly brilliant, great American tap legend. Now let's get started. This dance is a soft shoe with a double time section. You can use any music you like as long as it accommodates a soft shoe. Eleanor Powell's favorite composer was Fats Waller. So I recommend you might use something from Fats Waller, like I'm gonna sit right down and write myself a letter. You could use on the sunny side of the street. Just make sure that it accommodates a soft shoe. And please keep it in the genre of the 1940s. Step one, first I'm going to demonstrate it and then I'll teach it to you. We have one, two, a three and a four and a five, a six and a seven and eight, a one, a two, three, a four, a five and a six and a seven and. Step two. Mm, 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 mm. What that is, is she looks on count one, two, three, four and a five, six, hold seven and eight. Step three. And here are the counts for step three. A one, two, three, a four, and a five, and six, and a seven, and eight, and one, two, three, a four, five, six, seven, and eight, and. Step four. What that is, is with the counts, because Eleanor has done this in a trio, you can do as many counts of eight on your double shuffles as you want to, and you can do as many turns as you want to, as long as you finish on and eight. For example, a one and two and three and a four and a five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It can be that long or it can be half time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and eight. So it can be in fours or in eights. It just depends on how long you want to make it incrementally. Step five. Now I'm going to do step five with the counts, and we're going to travel up stage, turn, and then we come back down stage. We have one and two, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, hold eight. A one and two and three and four, five, six, seven, eight. A one and two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, land on four, five, and a six, and seven, hold eight. Now this, remember, is done as a trio. So if you do it as a solo, you're gonna have to accommodate for the folks that aren't there. The rhythm is a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, and eight. And everybody ends a seven and eight. And you can do, and one, and two, and three, and four, and turn, and turn, a seven and eight.
I'm going to just do a 1 and 2, a 3 and 4, a 5, a 6, a 7 and 8. And now for step 7, the final step in the dance. It goes. The counts for step seven. A one and two and three and five, a six, a seven and eight and an accent. 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 Didi ya da umba. I'm going to count step seven for you once again. A one and two and three, four, five, a six, a seven and eight and a one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six, seven, one. Three, five and a six and seven, hold eight. Remember at the end of your dance, if you're dancing with partners, be sure to acknowledge them. Don't forget to bow, acknowledge your audience. Thank you tap dancers and thank you Eleanor. Bye for now.